students in our previous class we have studied about the tradition of orientalism the various steps taken by them to promote the ancient indian text in various subjects but not all british officials were of the same views in fact many strongly criticized the orientalist they said that knowledge of the east was full of errors and unscientific thoughts so encouraging the study of arabic and sanskrit language and literature would go in vain james mill was one of those who attacked the orientalist he strongly proposed that the aim of the education should be to teach what is useful and practical in short he insisted that indian should be made familiar with the scientific and technical advances that the west had made rather than with the poetry and sacred literature of the orient after james mill we have yet another most important personality who strongly opposed orientalist and their thoughts is thomas macaulay he urged that the british government in india should stop wasting public money in promoting oriental learning for it was of no practical use he stressed on the need to teach the english language this would allow indians to read some of the finest literature the world had produced that is it would make them aware of the development in western science and philosophy thus teaching of english could be a way of civilizing people changing their taste values and culture too thomas's minutes were strongly followed and the english education act of 1835 was introduced according to this act the decision was made to introduce english the medium of instruction for higher education and to stop the promotion of oriental institutions like the calcutta madrasa and banaras sanskrit college after this in 1854 the court of directors of the east india company in london sent an educational dispatch to the governor general in india this was issued by charles wood the president of the board of control of the company it has come to be known as wood's dispatch it emphasized on the benefits of learning economics which in turn will help the british east india company this wood's dispatch concluded that european learning would enable indians to identify the advantages of trade and commerce in this way they would develop taste and desire for the british goods thus indians would begin to appreciate and buy things that were produced in europe woods dispatch also stated that european learning would improve the moral character of indians it would make them 
truthful and honest by doing so it would also supply the company with civil servants with a lesser salary as compared to the european officials according to this woods dispatch several measures were introduced by the british education departments of the government were set up to extend control over all matters regarding education second steps were taken to establish a system of university education attempts were also made to bring about changes within the system of school education students have you realized that most of the measures which were introduced in woods dispatch are still followed in our today's education system for example even today education department has the control over all the matters regarding education we still follow a system of university education students that's all for today's class see you in the next class goodbye take care